Podcast. Yes, guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Adam and Luke is nowhere to be seen again. It keeps leaving us, doesn't it? How many times do we have to make clickbaity titles saying that Luke has left LA Obsession? Oh, we're splitting up. Luke, stop going on holiday without me, yeah? Just leaving me on my own all the time. Oh, it's not fair. So anyway, I will have to think of some way of doing LA Obsession without Luke. How am I going to replace him? Uh, let's have a think. You guys got any ideas? Uh, maybe any ideas at all? Any? Any? So welcome to the new channel. We have LA Obsession. So it's Leo and Adam Obsession. And you excited about this, Leo? Yep. Yep. You really are, aren't you? I woke you up from your nap just for this joke. <laughs> Me and Luke did record a workout before he went away on holiday. I believe it was a... Oh no, we was going to do a back workout, but we ended up doing a pump session because we've got this new pump product that me and Luke tried. So we decided we were was going to do a back session or a leg session, I believe. But we decided we wanted to get the best pump we possibly could. So we ended up doing chest and arms, of course. Even some shoulders, I think, in there as well. And we got an absolutely class pump. Afterwards, I'm going to do some other stuff I haven't decided yet. So me and Luke, we've come out of the competition prep now. And we're on completely different plans to what we was when we were prepping all about adding size and getting bigger now. So I'm gonna talk through how me and Luke are gonna plan our own programs and how we plan our clients' programs so you guys can get a little bit of an idea of how we work and how we do that. And then potentially you could see whether you want to try and do it yourself or you can get involved with the LA Obsession personal training and you can drop me and Luke an email and see if we will work for you and sort you out a plan as well. We'll go and cut to future Adam and Luke in the gym. See you later. Bye. Right, so we were meant to be doing a weakness video, me and Adam, so focus on like hamstrings, glute, calves, triceps and shoulders. But we just realised we've had for the first time the my protein pump, which basically means your muscles look absolutely f***ing massive. <laughs> so are we going to waste that on these tiny f***ers? No, we're going to get it on the chest. So total change of plan, mix it up. It doesn't matter because we're not training for anything, are we, Adam? No. No, so we just change it to one and we're going to do push. When did you last do chest, Adam? Pushed her yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Never too much push, is there? Nah, sh shoulders is a weakness, it though. Is a weak so technically, it is. shoulders and arms are yeah. my aesthetic weaknesses. So we're going to make them up. Never too, my legs are massive. Yeah. <laughs> well, these are pointless. <laughs> New belt and wrap. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna start on our active set, starting at 80 kilo. Are you ready for That's 80 kilos, confirmed? <laughs> confirmed. Tell you guys, what little tips we're gonna give you. You're gonna push with your legs there, and as you go down, then you go up. That really helps. That really helps see the froggy balance. It helps you there, even doing wide leg. It feels good. Yeah, it feels so good. That's our number one tip on chest press. Legs push up, it's the most important rule, everyone knows that. Like, you'll watch Ulysses, you'll watch Simeon Panda, you'll watch uh, Give Me Another One, Brad Martin. Brad Martin. That's what they say. Do you want to give them a sensible tip? A sensible tip, okay. <laughs> <laughs> when we're going into chest press, what I love to do normally is start with my legs up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> no, so what you want to do, guys, is when you take the weight of the bar, in this position here, you want to make sure your shoulder blades are locked nice and back so that when you push, you're not pushing with your shoulders like up and through like that. So your shoulders are back and down, completely locked into place. And if you're pushing up, it's you coming from you your chest. You interesting weight, didn't we? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I was going to demonstrate like, with. You chose to do it on 80 kilos. Let's demonstrate on, on 80. <laughs> Instead, to avoid pushing from your shoulders, because you are going to get some shoulder involvement on chest press. Basically, it's pull the shoulder blades back and down and lock them into place. Not backing up. You get a lot of people going backing up. We want back and down, shoving your chest up a little bit so when you come down to your chest that movement is all locking in and pushing from the chest. If your shoulder is coming forward there, you end up using the front portion of your shoulder a little bit more. We're going to show you a cheeky little exercise to try and do. So with this guy, it's either what Adam's telling you now, it's either do that or what I said, the legs up. So then the you choose two techniques, like you do one or the other. With this you want to the ropes or the handles like this. Get a nice light weight, and then what you want from here, you roll your shoulders forward, pull them back and down. So you're not pulling back and up like that, like a lot of people normally would. You're gonna go back and down, row in, squeezing in that lower portion of your back there. That's how you want to set your shoulder blades. So back and down there, forward, 
Felt like I rambled for a nice while. long tip. Nice, that's a nice <laughs> long tip. That's what she said. So a really main important tip for you guys is to find a gym partner who is really like-minded as you, keeps the intensity up in your workouts, doesn't always like take breaks to be on his phone and check Instagram and... of the pump. So you start from the beginning, you take a picture before anything. You then take a picture after your shoulder pump, after your chest pump, after your arm pump. You get the whole shebang pumped up. It's not the full chronicles yet, but we'll show them. We'll pop them up midway for each one and we'll see how much bigger we get from start to finish. Hi guys, so welcome to Stoney's match analysis. So today came on, you know, we had, a, we had a game plan in mind. We knew what we had to do, we came out, but then we saw the opponent straight away. And, you know, they had very, very strong legs, so we decided to change it. We went for the upper half. You know, I think we'd absolutely fantastic. We, we attacked, attacked, attacked. It shows the strength of our signing, our, our team. And, you know, we've got a new signing over here, left, left bicep. You know, he's come all the way from uh, Spain. It's Espanol, a busy pearl. Yeah, so he's come all the way from Little League. And he's now still a open age. Now, now open age under 21s. So yeah, we're absolutely fantastic. We've enjoyed the, we've enjoyed the match. Anything else to say? <sighs> Manager. <sighs> okay. Uh, anyway, back to, back the, back to the studio. Studio with future Adam and Luke. Bye 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 bye. Yes, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that workout. I am currently sat in Starbucks, getting some planning done on the laptop for all our online clients. And today, what I was going to do is talk you through what we normally do to sort out some of your plans if you want to get involved. Excuse me. Did you say LA obsession? LA obsession. Yeah, cool. I'd like to be involved in that. How does like that work? How does that work? So what you do? You go online. You, know, you click the link. The link that's in the bottom of this video. Yeah, yeah. If you're watching this video, oh, right, yeah. Oh, so yeah, okay. the link there it takes you to a survey. Does that take two it's minutes? Two no, no, no. no. Oh, it's only Two minutes, so, like name, email, basic information, then you tell us a little bit about you, your fitness school, your plans, your trainers. It's me. Yeah. And there's this guy called Luke. He's alright. He's alright. Right. Yeah, right. See why at the right. beginning he's the best one. So it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. After you filmed that in, it's the two handsome devils to get in touch with you. And once they've got in touch with you, then you sort out like a video call. And once you've got the call all sorted, get going. you get going. It's easy, well, you start, and then you get it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you click that, click that link, link in there. survey, two minutes survey, survey. fill it out, yeah, yeah. time, plan, yeah. gets ready. Get ready. Yeah. Cool. Right. So, so like this random I just said, make sure you hit the link in the top of the description. It'll take you to the survey and then you can fill in it from there and we'll get you started on your fitness journey. And you're going to make some gains. Make some fitness gains. The guy is back from his holiday. He's done leaving me. I'm <laughs> not by myself anymore. We're back. I can't, I can't work the camera still. Too many look at the screen now. We're back. We're ready. We're going to change the game. Just all that from now, but we don't, we don't care because we are. Spending too much time with him in Ibiza and not this time there is. planning people's planning programs. programs. You're actually doing graft. You can see how much graft I do. Laptop turned off. <laughs> right, there's one last thing to say, Adam. There is. Whoa, whoa. Before we finish, there's one thing else that we've got to say, and it's not stay obsessed yet. When you are getting these kind of plans, you've got to remember that me and Lou are a physiotherapist and a gymnastics coach. For me, you got lower back pain. I'm going to help you with that. you got any Weak ankles, I think weak angles, weak knees. Maybe. Like You're gonna get help with that as well. And you've got the gymnastic coach as well. Learn to do backflips in car parks, eh? Got to lose your hats on though. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I believe that is everything that we need to say no, in this video. Yeah. Officially everything. So one more thing. Oh, just get your hand out of the way. <laughs> it's not officially everything, there's always one more thing, isn't there's it? There's always one more thing. <laughs> Stay <laughs> <on set. laughs>